really like this video with this guy Samson who uses Python in a Kaggle notebook to make a uh, MNIST identifying neural network. And he's doing this with NumPy. He's not using Keras or TensorFlow or anything like that. And the neural network's really simple. The architecture here is uh, 28 by 28 uh, neurons for, for the incoming pixels for the 28 by 28 um, image of the of the digit zero through nine so the, the 28 by 28 is 784 then we have a single hidden layer of 10 neurons and then the output layer of the 10 digits zero through nine so uh very simple but effective he gets 85 percent accuracy running this and um so the first thing that came to mind was, can this be run on a Raspberry Pi? So I have my Pi 5 hooked up, and it turns out it can be done. I have more or less condensed things for you here if you want to try this yourself. And I'll put the all the links in the description of this video, including the original video I was just showing you. This is run on a Raspberry Pi 5. Here's the OS and the Python version. And you can get the models, uh, I mean the training data. You can get the training data here, or I even put it up here in the archive. So the first thing you do is take this and download it bring it to some place you know you'll find it like the desktop here's the archive and then unzip it and, and then you have this test and training.csv then what you do is go to this mnist setup and train.py Copy all this into Thani. I've already done it, and then just hit run. And this does about mm, 10 iterations every 10 seconds, so one iteration every second. What we're doing is back propagation here with the data to create weights and biases, which is the model. Now it's using this mnisttrain.csv, which is one of the two files in the archive that we downloaded. If you look carefully, there's no, um, the test mnist test csv isn't used in this file, so what he's doing is just using this and splitting it, which is okay with me. I guess you run the risk of overfitting if you do too many iterations, but um, the default number of iterations is, it's actually here, I'm putting 100, but in the video that he does it's 500. Um, you can do either one, just the more iterations, generally the more accurate, but as you go on through iterations it kind of tapers off into diminishing return. Right now we are creating our weight, our model, our weights and biases, and this will take about 10 minutes. One other thing I wanted to show you while this happens is the CPUs are really underutilized on the Pi 5 while we go through this process. Now You see here one of the core one of the cores on the CPU was at a hundred, but it looks like we finished uh, since since we just did a hundred iterations. But I think that this could be sped up considerably, probably at least four times in Python. So I challenge uh, anyone watching this video to do that to make a a version that uses all four cores to speed up the generation of the weights and biases. Alright, after a hundred iterations, 
we can see we only get 57% accuracy, which is better than a random guess, 1 in 10, which would be 10% uh, accuracy, but it's not the 85% uh, percent accuracy we would get with 500. Now, if we try 500 here, the end result, and you can feel free to try this, is you're going to get around the same result that he had in the video. Now, if you don't feel like training your own model on your Raspberry Pi, you want to use my existing models, weights, biases, all that stuff, then what you do is go over here. Here's different accuracies for different iterations. So for 500 iterations, 85% accuracy, 1,000, 89%. And the most iterations I did was 40,000 iterations, about 94% accuracy. And this took like 12 hours. So you can skip all that, all that training and all that time by just going in and selecting these. And then move them to your desktop. So I've already done this 85% accuracy here. So you move those to your desktop, and then, alright, this is the one we want. Load all the weights and biases from the CSV files, plot, and train the accuracy. So we take this, select all, Paste here, run it, and this will show the weights for each number, 0 through 9. The biases, oh, here's the other weights and the biases. To test the accuracy, go down to this one and copy these two lines. And paste them in the shell. There you go, about 86% accuracy. You can do this with any of these, so 85%, 89, 93, 94. So we're doing MNIST identification accuracy. So there you have it. You can run and train an MNIST model on the Raspberry Pi 5 uh, with uh, Thani and NumPy and all that stuff without the more thorough tools like Keras and TensorFlow. And uh, it's just kind of neat. I like I like this. I like what this guy did here, Samson. And this is just an extension of his work. This GitHub link here goes into much more detail with instructions, so on and so forth. For example, one error I ran into was initially was this externally managed environment error, and uh, Jeff Deerling on his website, he uh, has a solution where you enter this one line here into your terminal, and this actually solved it. This solved the issue for me. So I think this is a good start, and you can train if you want start from scratch and train it yourself or you can even use these weights and biases here and load it load it from there save yourself some time or like i said you can challenge yourself and see if you can train the the weights and biases quicker with python that'd be really interesting all right thanks for watching take care